President Eisenhower waits at Washington National Airport for the arrival of his own plane, Columbine III, with a highly prized visitor, President Diem of South Vietnam. President, yeah. could you discuss some of the recent public accounts of, of CIA activities in South Vietnam? President, the only hot war we've got running at the moment of of course, the one in Vietnam, uh, and we've got our difficulties there, quite obviously. I don't think that uh, unless a greater effort is made by the government to win popular support, they, that the war can be won out there. This evening, I came here to speak to you about Vietnam. My fellow Americans, tonight I want to talk to you on a subject of deep concern to all Americans and to many people in all parts of the world, the war in Vietnam. In January, I requested food and ammunition for the brave Cambodians. And I regret to say that as of this evening, it may be soon too late. In 1954, the U.S. became involved in the Vietnam War. Because of the harsh jungle condition of Vietnam, the U.S. needed to find a way to clear out the jungle. To eliminate forest cover and crops for North Vietnamese, U.S. military forces began to use a powerful herbicide, Agent Orange. The U.S. program, codenamed Operation Ranch Hand, sprayed more than 20 million gallons of various herbicides over Vietnam from 1961 to 1971. Several U.S. aircraft were deployed to spray roads, rivers, canals, rice paddies, and farmland with the powerful mixtures of these herbicides. During this process, crops and water sources used by the non-combative native population of South Vietnam were also hit. When they sprayed Agent Orange, they didn't take into account the lasting impact it would have on the Vietnamese people. More than 13 million gallons of Agent Orange were used in Vietnam, and the lasting impact it still has today is chilling. The chemical dioxin is used in Agent Orange and causes birth defects and mutations in the genes. Because so many Vietnamese people were exposed to this chemical, Almost 3 million people are still affected today, and over 150,000 Vietnamese children are born with birth defects. This is the result. As you can see, many children are suffering today due to the effects of Agent Orange. Many are blind, have deformities, cannot walk, or have mental disabilities. Today in Vietnam, several peace camps have been established to aid the affected children in their daily lives. The U.S. government's one concession to responsibility for the Vietnamese victims of Agent Orange is environmental remediation. Over $100 million has been spent to clean up one of the airports affected by Agent Orange. Despite this effort, only $20 million has been given for victims. While many may not remember this war, these Vietnamese children will never forget it. I joined the U.S. Air Force, was stationed in Mississippi, 
and eventually went to the island of Crete in the Mediterranean. Some of my friends went to Vietnam. As a matter of fact, one of my best friends, Gurney Miller, was killed in Vietnam. He was only 19 years old. He was killed by a sniper bullet. He had two shots to the back of the head. I guess you might say he was lucky because some of the other people suffered from cancer as a result of Agent Orange, which is sprayed in Vietnam. You need to remember that freedom is not free.